My pulse raced at the astounding accomplishments of the mercenary known as Demon Lord. I forgot about my job and read everything I had on hand. Around the time Demon Lord received his nickname, South Belka showed signs of weariness regarding the war. Because the region was set up as a defense line to protect the birthplace of Belka in the north, the people's dissatisfaction had reached a climax. The cities declared themselves demilitarized and peacefully surrendered to the Allied forces. Unable to establish a defensive position, the Belkan army kept retreating to the north. The end of the war was fast approaching. I was given an opportunity to interview the former aces of the Belkin Air Force. Back then, they were the masters of the sky, and they had also known him. So I crossed the border to follow his trail. I wanted to capture the war and the demon lord from their point of view, to capture the voices of those who were there. ROT Team Commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 2nd Air Division, 52nd Tactical Fighter Squadron, Detlef Fleischer, also known as the Red Swallow. With his skill and demeanor, he was practically a poster boy for the armed forces. Today, he is a professor of history at the University of Dinsmark. Back then, I was bursting with pride. I wanted to lead us to victory, for Belka's honor. Staying where it was nice and warm wouldn't accomplish anything. My flight's mission was to maintain air superiority in Area B-7R, an essential area that we couldn't allow to be violated. That day, when I heard the order from HQ for reinforcements, I became angry. The station force was in chaos because of just two mercenaries. There was no way the mighty Belkin Air Force could lose to mere mercenaries. My pride was shot, and the round table was defiled. What went wrong? Whatever it may be, the fact remains I was forced to walk a different path in life than the one I had envisioned. Gelb Team is number two, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 5th Air Division, 23rd Tactical Fighter Squadron, Rainer Altman. He flew the skies of Directus during the capital's liberation, and he's still there to this day. I met him above this very sky. I can still hear the sound of the missile alerts from that day. I received an order to fly to Directus on my way back from an intercept mission on the Southern Defense Line. The order itself wasn't unusual. We kept being deployed from one mission to the next without receiving even the basic maintenance. But the situation was the same all around. We were late reaching the operational space. The station squadrons had already retreated and warning bells were going off in the city. And the people were looking up to his plane, high above the sky. It felt like he could see right through me. He was always one step ahead of me. He matched every combat maneuver I made until I used up every trick in the book. Schnee Team Commander. Former member of the Belkin Air Force, 22nd Air Division, 4th Tactical Fighter Squadron, Eric Hillenbrand. He never had great ambitions. All he ever hoped for was to make a living as a regular pilot. Today he works as a flight instructor for civilian pilots. The instant he shot me, I pulled the lever. <laughs> I barely managed to escape from my plane as it burst into flames. After drifting from the blast, I landed below the round table. It was a wide open, barren wasteland. 
How long would I have to wait for a rescue party? Radio interference within the round table was fierce. The odds of a distress signal actually reaching anyone was low. I was at a loss for what to do. Anyway, I'd really gone out with a bang this time. I took that as a sign it was time for me to retire. But just then, I heard a roaring overhead. It was his plane. I was jealous of his calm flying form. Rather than wait for the rescue team, I began to walk toward the nearest base. I was driven by desire to get back up there and fight him again. Of course, it did take me three days to get there. Every time I flew with him, his skill stood out. He was unstoppable. He would ascertain the situation in an instant, and change the tide of battle. He was born for combat. It was no wonder they called him a demon lord. That said, it was hell trying to keep up with him. Before long, everyone had taken notice of him. More and more would show up to watch him go off on sortie. Mercenaries or maintenance crew, it didn't matter. People wanted to burn his image to their memories. Hell, they weren't the only ones. The Belkin forces are beginning to take flight. The industrial city of Hoffner is crucial to the enemy's industrial strategy and the heart of its war productions. The Allied forces have decided that all Belkin war production must be stopped to expedite the end of the war, and has requested our participation in this operation. The operation will primarily involve the bombing of ground facilities by the Allied forces' bombers. Your mission is to support those bombers and attack enemy facilities. We have achieved near total air supremacy over the target area, but don't let your guard down. There may still be sporadic resistance.
Nobody knew why they were fighting anymore. All I felt at that point was sadness for the world. That's why I... Pursued by Allied forces, the Belkin forces have taken flight, abandoning Hoffna. Without military production capabilities, Belka is in a bind. We were also able to confiscate samples of what seemed to be experimental weapons from the abandoned war factories, before Belka had time to use them.